got to be paying attention if you want to get your prediction in. My prediction, though, I can say it at any time because I'm not putting beans on it. I'm just saying what it is. I'm predicting Drally to win against Grama, who's uh, another Italian player who's seen a lot of success in ones these days. We've seen, uh, you know, probably the biggest group of 1v1 players ever come out, coming out of Italy. We've got Hyder, we've got Grama, uh, Dead Monster still kicking about. And then, who am I forgetting? There's one more that I've just totally blanked on for some reason. Uh, who is it? Why am I forgetting this? This is really dumb. This is this is the worst. What What's wrong with me? I hate when this happens. Somebody in chat will know. It's not Kuxer. No, Kuxer doesn't play ones uh, anymore. It's not Arju either. Arju doesn't really play ones either. It's Davu. Davu. I got it before you guys. Haha. -ha. Oh, nice shot by Drally. But yeah, Davuf. Davuf, Grama, Hyder, and Dead Monster. Very nice shot by Drally there. Faking the reset and then slotting it bottom corner. 2 0 up. Can he get a Mercy Roll here, I wonder? I think it's possible, but I don't think it'll happen. I think Grama is going to be too resilient. That being said, Drally on his day is one of the highest peaks in Rocket League. He's one of the highest peaks in 1v1. And if he decides to go all guns blazing and pulls everything, every shot off, then I think he will just win. Right now, he is just dribbling the ball around, though. This is incredible. He is going for time-wasting with 19 minutes left on the clock. You can call him a madman if you like, but he doesn't care. He is just dribbling the ball around. I <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. You, I mean, if this was a regular just five-minute one would game, he would have wasted about 10%, maybe 15% of the game there. But because it's 20 minutes on the clock, he's maybe wasted about 2%. I guess it would be more. It would be like 3% of the game. Something like that. So I don't know about that. I don't know about the time wasting with a uh, with a two-goal lead. Grandma didn't really feel any kind of pressure there. One of the points of time wasting in, in Rocket League is to try and bait your opponent into um, challenging at an ill-advised time. To overextending so you can outplay them. But I don't think that's going to happen uh, when... There's this much time remaining. Grandma just muscles in, takes the back corner boost and the ball, and then passes back to Drally so he can keep time wasting. This is unbelievable. 2-0. Two, uh, two minutes in, we've got a goal a minute in probably another 18 where those come from. Here goes Drally again, dribbling the ball back. He once went on record saying that Nas is unfathomably boring for only dribbling the ball back and uh, getting kickoff goals. But it seems like he's decided, you know, can't beat him join him. I'm going to be a dribble the ball back main as well. And if Grandma's going to win this game, he's going to need to come and take the ball off me. I mean, this truly is ridiculous. He's just dribbling it across the box. And Grandma's waiting for Drally to attack. And he's just simply not attacking. He's got a clean sheet. <laughs> if, he can, <laughs> if he can clean sheet five minutes, that's already incredible. <laughs> Look at him go. Grammar's just not attacking and Drally's faking long range air dribbles and dribbling the ball across the pitch. Making small advancements. Hold on, he's thinking about attacking and then dribbles the ball back again. Grammar, you gotta do something. You gotta go for a demo. You gotta, you gotta stick a foot in. You can't let him do this. The possession stats have to be outrageous for this game. He's dribbling the ball back again. You've gotta get demos. You've gotta stop him, Grammar. You've gotta dispossess him somehow. You can't even touch the ball. This is like when you play against your brand new Rocket League friend. You're like, hey, come play this game with me. By the way, can you touch the ball? Nope, because I've, I've played this game before and you have it. Unlucky, Bozo. He's <laughs> just faked it off the wall play. Flip reset to, <laughs> to play for possession. Here comes Grandma, though. He touches Drally, touches the ball, and leaves an open net. It's a three-goal lead. <laughs> as soon as Grandma decides to, to up the aggression, he immediately concedes. I mean... The frustration has fully kicked in. He's got to stay composed here because Drally is wasting so much time. <laughs> but you've got even more time. Even if he wastes time, you've got even more. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, Grandma's got control for now. If he can just prevent Drally from getting the ball to his back corner, then that's fine. Honestly, Grandma should dribble the ball back as well as uh, just to send Drally a message. That would be one of the most bold plays in 1v1 history to dribble the ball back on a three-goal deficit 
Here goes Drally again. He's into the sweet spot. Grandma's trying to intercept this one, but he's struggling to get a safe challenge. And there he is, though. Threat of the demo leaves it open. Grandma puts himself on the board. No clean sheet for the first five minutes. Only four minutes and five seconds clean sheet for Drally. But that's what Grandma needs to do. He just needs to get stuck in. You need to make your presence felt. Um, if your opponent's doing this, you need to go for back corner demos, threats of back corner demos. You need to try and cut them off with some safe challenges. Of course, Drally, completely on phase, right back to faking long range air dribbles and just dribbling the ball across defense. Here he is again. He's trying to keep Grandma at bay. Grandma not going to fall for it this time. Uh, but Drally does 50 50 perfectly into the exact same position. Grandma dives in, gets a demo. That's a good outcome for him. Very good outcome, actually. Drally was only able to waste about 40 seconds. Now here comes Grandma. Another demo. It's going to be another goal for Grandma. Unbelievable comeback. He had to wait about five minutes to get one touch on the ball, but his touches have been clinical. No nonsense. Demo on the ground. Demo in the air. Goal for the Italian. Now, will Drally actually attack again now that Grandma's within one goal? It might be a tight game here. It is! It's a Drally own goal as well. I mean, it's an orange trail, but he's been forced to put this on his own, in his own net, Drally. Grandma just got in his way, survived the bump, and then Drally has kind of helped it on its way into the net. Sparks 2026, thanks to the five-month prime. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well today. Fake kickoff by, uh, by Drally. We'll get him right back into midfield play. Will he time waste? But with a tie game, he might, you know, he might. He's doing it. That's right. No open nets. Time wasting. This is unprecedented. He is going to keep going. Grandma might have come back to a tie game, but Drally is undeterred. He believes in his strategy. This is commitment to the cause, the likes of which has never been seen. He's going to do it again. Drally dribbling the ball back. Grandma dives in and then Drally scores. I mean, it's kind of perfect if you can bait your opponent in, to be honest. It's kind of perfect. It's not a bad strategy if you can bait them in for a challenge at the right time. Drally didn't want the goal from attack. He's only counter-attacking in this series. This is unbelievable. 4-3, probably the lowest scoring first quarter and another minute we've seen. A rare shot in offense there by Drally. And uh, actually a save for Grandma as a result. Flip reset, pre-flip save by Drally. Will he dribble back the open net? He goes for the crossbar and he gets it. Oh, he actually misses and accidentally puts it in the net. No doubt Drally was trying to hit the post there so he could dri dribble the ball back. Bit of a misplay to accidentally uh, put it in. But the good news is, if you try to miss and dribble the ball back and you accidentally score, hey, at least you've scored. Could be worse. Now, Drally, thinking about stealing his own boost there. Um, he's trying to confuse Grandma by the looks of things. And, of course, he goes for another defensive dribble. Grandma has to try and find an angle. Drally steals the boost way ahead of the play. I mean, this is just a different level of preparation. That boost wasn't even contested, but he's stolen it away from himself because he knew if he didn't steal it away from himself, then Grandma might try to. Drally spinning around on the back wall in defense, looping back into the middle, still technically dribbling the ball uh, back, but not really. I think Grandma's now taking control. Yes, he has. Big chance for Grandma. This is not the nicest bouncing ball. He's got to wait a while to play this one. And he's immediately conceded possession. Drally escapes the back corner demo. And of course, prepares the threat of the backwards dribble. Here comes Grandma again. Nice little soft pop on target, but Drally catches it on the back wall and gets going the other way. And he shoots! And when you've been dribbling the ball back all game, nobody expects the direct shot. So Grandma was probably preparing himself to build up some speed on the turn and Drally just pings it into the goal. I mean, this has really been the biggest investment in conditioning your opponent that I've ever seen 
in Rocket League. Like we, we talk about conditioning your opponent to expect one thing and then doing another. Drally's conditioned Grandma to expect only hits away from his goal. And now he's doing it again. So whenever Drally hits the ball towards Grandma's goal, you can guarantee that it's going to come as a surprise. He's thinking about it here, but really, Grandma is struggling to cross no man's land. And Drally masterfully avoids the open net. This time leaves no doubt and dribbles the ball back. He's not going to make the same mistake that he made earlier where he scored an open net completely by mistake. Wave dash demo. Is he going to go for the, the spawn demo? Nope. He's going to dribble the ball back. Drally, the absolute master of trolling and boring his opponent to death with the unfathomably, undeniably effective strategy of keeping the ball in defense. I mean, I've, set, I've made the analogy before. It's like when you're playing your mate in FIFA and they're just passing the ball between the defenders. But never before has it been done like this in Rocket League. Oh, he's failed his touch there. Grandma chases him down the line. Grandma with eight boost and a dream gets completely closed off immediately. I mean, look at the distance, the difference in quality. When you look at possession statistics, Grandma can't hold on to the ball for more than a few touches. Drally is just leaving it out there. He's got a carrot on a stick, and whenever Grandma goes to take a bite of it, Drally pulls it away from him. He's just leaving it dangling in no man's land, and Grandma commits. It's a counter-attack goal. If he doesn't commit, well, Drally's going to keep dribbling around in defense. So, as much as this does seem like a ridiculous strategy, it is forcing Grandma to make commit committed moves. And against Drally, it can be a big mistake to make committed moves because he is one of the best counter punchers in the game and recently has been just one of the completely best reactive defenders in the game as well. Pre-flip post pinch save by Drally. He's thinking about how to get control of the ball again. Well that'll do. Now can he get around this and keep it out of the goal is the question. You know that he's going to try and he does brilliantly there. Drally didn't want to trust Grammar to make the save so he made it himself. Only a three goal lead though. Grammar could cut that down to two here with an air dribble but Drally reads it perfectly and he has been just spectacular at reading those. Threatens a long shot. Dribbles it back. And then looks for an angle to dribble it back again. Grandma's got to cut off the midfield here. Because you know where Drally's going with it. There it is. Grandma immediately cuts off the backward dribble. He's starting to get a read on this. But, you know, picking angles to cut off these possession plays. can be easier said than done. Because, you know, Drally's threatening flicks. And then turning with the wave dash to dribble the ball back. I mean, he's, he's threatening a wall clear here. Threatening another one. He's letting the ball bounce a bit lower, and then he dribbles it back. It's perfect. Every single time, it's perfect. He's got a threat, and then when Grandma respects the threat, he just dribbles the ball back into his corner. Now, it looks like Grandma's found an opening, though. Demo on this spawn would be a, just a done deal here. He goes to a ceiling shot instead. Drally calls his bluff on it. Still Drally in a risky position. He was open for the demo, but Grandma plays ball and boost. And he may have just conceded the possession as a result. No, it's Grandma dribbling the ball back. He's using his, his biggest weapon against him here. We have got a full-on dribble the ball back only 1v1. And I don't mind it. Nine minutes remaining. We could see no goals in that time frame if both players can keep this up. And that would be truly extraordinary. Drally dribbling the ball sideways. Now he's... Got to be careful here. I think he sniped the post. It's a perfect shot into the post by Drally. Unbelievable accuracy to keep the threat alive there. I mean, that's obviously going to be something that Grandma remembers vividly the next time Drally needs to convince him that a shot is coming. And what a play. Because a lot of you guys would have scored that one foolishly and completely lost your defensive strategy. Drally taking the mid boost, taking the, the other boost as well. Giving Grandma an open net, Grandma completely botches it. Now here comes Drally again, can he miss it? Yes, he can. He is just so consistent, unstoppable, unwavering with this plan. And Grandma hasn't, he just hasn't got an answer. Eight minutes to go, we're still seeing no goals. Drally with so much space to dribble the ball back into. I mean, that is just beautiful. Look at the distance he's able to cover there. All moving further away from Grandma's goal. And then, once again, a little bit more where that came from. And maybe, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. That's right. 
even more. That's three in a row. He is on a combo right now. Grammar trying to stop it. He does stop the combo at three. I know here comes Drally. Angered that his reverse dribble has been stopped. Muscles his way into the play, but now it's Grammar the other way. One reset. Wants a dunk as well. Drally's aerial defense is just something to behold, though. And when, he's, when you've got the you know, inspiration of possession driving you forward, it all makes sense. Grandma's missed the boost on the turn. Goes back for it. Drally takes his back corner boost and then dribbles it across. Grandma's closing the distance. Drally has to be careful. He has to threaten something here before obviously trying to dribble the ball back. Oh, he scores! Huge misplay by Drally. He was no doubt trying to put that in the back corner to then start dribbling it to his own half. But he mishits it. Catches it way too cleanly, and he puts it in the goal. What a misplay! I hope that doesn't cost him, because he might be—he could just be in a shambles mentally now, after failing to miss. I mean, he, he was doing so well. He's missed the last, I think, three open nets before that, and then to score against a defended net—I mean, that's just embarrassing. He tries to own goal. Oh, it's—it's it's beautiful. It's not even an own goal. It's a pass to himself off the underside of his crossbar. I mean, truly next level possession play and next level Tom Fullery by Drally oh he scores again I mean he's starting to fall apart a little bit here it's such a difficult strategy to pull off consistently but yeah Drally trying to force a 50-50 there so he can set up a, a possession play in his own back corner but he's just a bit too fast for his own good he got there early and scores again beautiful fake kickoff to set up another defensive position but Grandma's going to have a chance to score here. At least get a possession play. We've still got more than a regulation 1v1 to go, but Drally with an early pre-jump. Can he get this one into a defensive position? He's got the post pass to himself. It's Grandma's ball. Good space to do something with, but he just cannot score. Drally is frustrating him. I don't actually remember when the last Grandma goal was, but Drally has uh, definitely kept him completely shut out for an awful long time. Can he score? Can he break the deadlock? No, he can't. Drally somehow teleports in front of the ball from the most ridiculous position. I mean, this <laughs> is probably <laughs> the most annoying performance I've ever seen anyone have to go up against. Grandma with a heavy first touch invites Drally to come forward. Drally, of course, accepts the invitation. And uh, into Drally's defensive end we go again. Grandma with a boost seal. Drally fakes the shot and dribbles it back. Fakes the dribble back. And then Grandma goes for the demo anyway. Is it going to be open on the turn? Somewhat, but not enough. Drally, once again, pounces in the way of the ball. We've got just over five minutes. Has Grandma finally got the, broken the deadlock? Yes, he has. Four goals for Grandma. He's only down by four. And it was a perfect shot in the turn. Well placed over Drally, under the bar, inside the post. Can he keep that going? Is this the start of something special? Paul MB6, thanks for the six month prime. Welcome back to the channel. Grandma's got to be careful here. Drally could easily take this one back if he wanted to. He's got a bit of forward momentum though on the play. Drally with the fake. And the shot straight at Grandma. And it goes under him. Poor Grandma, as soon as he gets a goal. Drally puts one in his goal after just a few seconds. He tried so hard. He fought so long for that one goal. Minutes went by before eventually he scored it. And as if to just show how easy it is going the other way, Drally immediately scored one. Oh, that should be a goal for Grandma. Airwell shot is good. And it's in off the post. Drally actually compliments Grandma for this. Because he'll know that that was actually a difficult sequence to keep that ball in front of the box and then get around it with the air roll shot to take this back to a four goal difference. Wade dash recovery kickoff by Grandma. Drally had to stop her, he was getting bumped. It's Grandma with a mid boost grab. And uh, I think a save at the other end. And a chance to go off the wall from distance. And Drally's aerial defense has been just an otherworldly level today. And once again, the ceiling challenge lands so early. Drally fakes the open net, dribbles it back. But Grandma reads the dribble. Starting to get a bit of a better read on Drally's game plan. I mean, you've only seen it, what now, for 15 minutes, so it's definitely about time. 
here goes Rally again. Into his natural habitat, the defensive corner. It's where he's most comfortable. It's where he does his finest work. But does Grandma have any more fight left in him? The focus is unrelenting. Oh, what a goal! Flip reset, double tap from a full pitch air dribble. That is unreal by Grandma. Past the pre-jumping Drally as well. Three goal game. Grandma starting to find some success late on in the match. That's going to be a boost grab at mid for Grandma here. Drally's got the ball, so Grandma can't really commit too aggressively. Decides to go anyway and gets beaten to it. Luckily, the shot's high. And Grandma, with the boost advantage, was able to make the most of it. Drally had to jump. He's getting dead, but if he didn't. Very close to a seventh goal for, for Grandma. Good vision as he looks behind him to see where Drally is. And into the air he goes again. It's a pre-jump for Drally that's missed. Is it on target? Oh, it's just off the inside of the post. So close for Grandma. And so scary for Drally. He's seeing his lead start to be chipped away. And will that inspire him to attack? Yes, it will. Ten goals for Drally. Just six for Grandma. This has to be the lowest scoring game we've seen in this format throughout the entire tournament. Perfect 50-50 by Drally. And an open net as well. Yeah, poor Grandma. Very close to being within two. After all the time that Drally kept him scoreless, he's seeing a lot more success in the final quarter. And if he'd flicked that early, he would have been through again. Drally just turned, challenged, and scores at 11. Does Drally... Or does Grandma, rather, think to call a timeout? That is the question, because it might be smart to try and uh, frustrate Drally. Because if one thing has been made very clear here, it's that Drally wants this game to be over as quickly as possible. He doesn't want a 40-goal uh, game. He wants to keep it low scoring. It's kind of like when you know the opponents are refusing to forfeit in ranked, and you can just try and score you know, a three-goal lead and then keep it at that. That could be the idea here for Drally. But I think it would be smart for Grandma to call a timeout because if Drally really is that eager for this game to be over, Grandma should frustrate him. He should call timeout. Keep him in here as long as possible. I, I wouldn't advise, by the way, that strategy when uh, the opponents are refusing to forfeit. I would not advise keeping it 3-0 and trying to bore them to death. I, I prefer to just score as many goals as possible. Try and win by like 50. Uh, because that, I think, sends them the strongest message that you will not negotiate with terrorists. They're trying to hold you hostage in the lobby. Nah, prove to them it's you guys that's trapped in here with us. We're just going to score 100 goals. If you guys are going to go to AFK and refuse to forfeit, all right, time to score another kickoff goal. That is, for me, at by far the highest rate of success in terms of getting teams to actually forfeit over the years. Would recommend. All right, this is getting into last-ditch territory for Grandma here. It's Rally. Let's uh, up the aggression in the final quarter to try surprise Grandma. Played defensively for 15 minutes. And now that Grandma is forced to go all in. Earlier on in the game, Grandma didn't have to go all in. Was able to go a little bit more picky with which challenges to go for. Now, Grandma has no other choice. And it will just be too little too late, it seems. 12-7, rally up by 5. He has been a level above today. And suddenly, hold on. It's back to four with a kickoff goal. Remember, a minute and 24 seconds is a long time in 1v1. Four, four goals in that time frame is possible. The main problem is that with Drally's defense looking so unbreakable for most of today, it's very, very difficult to see four goals happening. How are you going to score them? How are you going to score those goals? Will it be grind game? Will it be aerial game? Will it be physical game? I think it, Grandma will just take whatever he can get at this point. Drally with a straight dribble and a little pop over it the instant that Grandma turns to challenge. And look at the control for Drally. As soon as Grandma's turning to challenge, he's up in the air. He can do that at any moment, of course. And it is going to be 13-8. It's a five-goal gap again. Drally has just had control of the entire game. And even though he's not going to get a win via the Mercy Rule, this is probably one of the most dominant performances in this tour tournament. His grandma is no slouch. Grandma is a player who's made some decent runs in 1v1 tournaments lately on Fear's channel. He made some 
runs into the top eight in qualifying for Salt Mine 3. Close qualifiers. Taking down some big names along the way. So for Drally to just come in and completely control the possession, it really shows what level he's at. And now he's, uh, yep, yeah, he's conceded again. So just when I'm trying to give him credit, he starts to uh, lose focus and lose goals. It's a three goal game with 50 seconds left and Grandma has had some strong kickoffs. Drally's gonna get a kickoff goal to try and keep things Nice and controlled. I think if this went to a two-goal game, he'd definitely be a little bit worried. But it's back to four, where I'm sure he'll be comfortable. I like the strategy for, for Grandma on the kickoff, though, to go for the big win on the inside. That's definitely the kickoff that's most likely uh, to yield direct kickoff goals. And it has worked a couple times in this series. Grandma trying to create something at the tail end of the series here. Trying to keep the impossible hope of winning alive, but he just cannot get out of this back corner where Drally has him imprisoned. They're all there together. Drally, the ball, and Grandma. This is a good way to end the game, if you ask me. This is where most of the game was played. Drally's back corner, where possession has prevailed. Grandma fought with uh, just about every ounce of mechanics and every ounce of uh, focus he could. He was no match for the possession of Durali and the unwavering commitment to dribbling the ball backwards. I'm actually like, I'm not even lying. Like, I'm, I'm fascinated by that game. That is a, That to me is a, such a dominant display to be able to do that, um, have such control of the possession against a player at Grandma's level. Because Grandma's a, a player, like I said, who's had quite a lot of success in ones lately. But let, let me just show you guys what I mean. So Salt Mine 3, uh, stage 1, 2, and 3. I don't know why it's gone. Oh, sorry, Dark Reader's on now. Yeah, stage 1, close qualifier. Let's see what Grandma got up to in this. He beat Kaleers, beat Joyo, lost to Nas, and then lost in game 5 to Shadi, who qualified for Salt Mine 3 by beating Drally that day. Uh, stage 2, it looks like Grandma beat Trebla. Lost to FBI, who had a great run in this event, also beating Nugget and what falling one game short of qualifying, in fact. Yeah, beat Darku and lost to Atomic 2-1. So, you know, some good results for uh, for Grandma in these tournaments. The third one, he beat Spider, he beat Flakes, lost in game five to Atto, and then got swept by Stizzy. So, I mean, if that doesn't show you, Grandma is a real, you know, solid 1v1 player. And he just had no control, absolutely no control of that series. Had no choice or where the ball was going to be at any point. It was just rally all the way. Look at the score lines. Every The lowest winning score before today, I think, was 21. Fast and Fearless both won with 21. Oh, no, we had a 17 from Diaz. That's a 14 from Drally. That is the lowest uh, score to win the game that we've ever seen uh, in this format. Yeah, it's honestly impressive what, I, what we just saw from Drally.